Praise the Lord. I'm coming to you today to give you a message I truly believe is from the Ru Kadesh, the Holy Spirit. A warning to everyone, the whole world, not just America. See this storm that is manifesting in the spirit is coming. In fact, I really believe that we're seeing the outer raiments as it's coming forth, you know, just like Sandy. At first you see the waves out there, they're getting stronger. Then you feel the breeze as it's getting more stronger and more vicious. Turning from a breeze to a mighty wind. And that's not talking about mighty win-win. I mean, you know, but... It, it come in. Sandy, come in. Putting New York to a standstill. And dumping sand all over the place as the waves wash in. Dump the sand and roll back out and come in again. 80 homes are burning right now. It's just a combination of fire, wind, snow, rain, everything. And I do feel compassion for those people that's going through this right now. And there's more to come. There is. We are in the last days, and God is giving us sign. Do I really believe that this was done by harp? It could be. I had thought about it. It could be. But yet, in the deepest part of my soul, no, I don't believe it was. I believe it was designed by the hand of God coming in because I, I don't know how else to say this but I believe it's because of the actions of Obama and what he's doing and what he has done with the ambassador and stuff yes do I believe that he gave the orders to stand down yes do I believe he sat there and watched with the uh, the Vice President and Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I do. I believe all three of them watched as it went on. And they had put a mighty curse upon America. They have. But not only America, but everywhere. In the whole world, it's coming. Because look at what's going over on the Middle East fighting each other, killing each other without mercy. You know, I had a man that said that really talked against America and my people. Well, my daddy was a Cherokee Indian, one of the five civilized tribes. My grandmother, on my mama's side, was a Jew. They're both passed away now. My country and my people are no more evil than the people over there in other countries. And the things that England and France and all of them did, even before America was discovered, was horrendous how they treated people. So it's not just about the people of America. And sir, if you have to watch, happen to watch this, I want you to understand 
I'm not going to debate with you or anyone else on a lot of these things. That just causes arguments and hard feelings. I'm not going to get upset, nor am I going to have hard feelings against you or anyone else that hates America and hates Americans. Honestly, I have to look at you and say, you know, that's your problem. That's between you and God. If you desire to have hate in your heart, then you need to repent and ask God for forgiveness because everybody, everybody has sinned. Everybody, every nation have done horrible things to their countrymen. My people on the Cherokee had to go across the Trail of Tears and the reason why some of my people dropped off and, and hid in Missouri. So that not all of my people made it here to to Oklahoma, you know. But yes, my people have known sorrow, have been mistreated, By who? Uh, Englishmen that come from over in England that's capable of mistreating people. But I'm going to get off of this because I must give you the word that he's, that I have been given to, to give to you today. And please pray for those people that's suffering right now up in New York and Pennsylvania and all of them and thank God that uh, Pastor George is fine that um, he lost electricity can't call in or out but you know you can go on Facebook and see it so praise the Lord and Bruce is okay and <sighs> praise the Lord hallelujah they weren't harmed even though there has been people pray for their harm, they're not. Hallelujah. I just want to make sure I get that word out. They are alive. They are well. And praise God for everyone that he's saving up there. And I feel sorry for those that have lost loved ones. But okay, let's turn to Second Peter. This is important, people. This is important. I, I may have to make two videos, but this is important. I will begin at least the first video with this. Second Peter, chapter 3. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Stir up our pure mind not our evil mind, our pure mind. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the condemnation of us, uh, oh, the commandment, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Let me read that again that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and by and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Because see, pa Peter was an apostle. Know these first, that there will come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of, of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For thus they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then what then was being overflowed with the water perished now of course you can go to genesis and read about the flood 
But the heavens and the earth, which are now, which are now, right here, we're in it. By the same words are kept in store, reserved unto far against the day of judgment. Per predestion of ungodly men. But beloved of ungodly men. Let's let's go over Matthew twenty five. Uh, yes, let's do that. see 25 and I'm going to start at verse 31 this is what this is talking about but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved and too far against the day of judgment and predestined of ungodly men Okay, we go to Matthew 25, beginning with verse 31. The Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him. Then shall He set upon the throne of His glory, and before Him shall be gathered all nations, and He shall separate them from one another as sheep, dividing as a shepherd dividing His sheep from the goats. He shall set the sheep on the right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye are blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Wow. For I was hungry, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. And I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. And I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee? I hunger, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink. When saw thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee net sick in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer, and say unto them. Now, the, he's talking about the children of light, the children of day. I, I, you know, that's in my other video. Verily I say unto you, insomuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, even unto everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. As sick in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer in him and saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungry and or thirsty or stranger, naked or sick in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then he shall say, Answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, insomuch that ye did it not to the one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And those shall go away into everlasting punishment but the righteous into eternal life. So we see that those that live in the darkness shall go into, his words, everlasting punishment. This this is Jesus', Yeshua's word speaking. But we, the children of light, will go into the righteousness of life eternal. Let's go down. On. I'm going to reread that. That prompt me to go there, but the heavens and earth, which are now by the same word kept in store, reserved unto far against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly man. But, beloved, be not ignorant of these things, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slacking, 
but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish. I want you to understand that. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All, all human beings, every man, woman, and child, no matter where you're born, no matter what language you speak, no matter what, He does not desire you to be punished and go into this everlasting punishment. But those of the darkness of the world just will not open their minds and see who Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, truly is. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in that which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the e elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up okay let's go to matthew 24 i should have just stayed over there shouldn't i i mean finger um 24 beginning with uh, uh verse 43 but know this that if the good men of the house had known in which what which the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken into or broken up. Therefore be ye ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. And that's who the children of the light are. The children of God are rulers over his household, his people, his children. We are a body to feed each other in due season. Blessed is the servant who his Lord, when he cometh, shall find doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Ruler over all his goods. We, that's where it comes in Revelations that we will get, be given thrones to judge. But, and if that evil servant, and many our evil servants here shall say into his heart my Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink and be drunken you know praying curses uh, speaking falsely about other servants tearing them apart with their words of mouth He shall smite his, and he shall, the Lord's, excuse me, the Lord of the servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, appoint him his portion with the hypocrite, that shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. So if you're a if you say you're a servant of God and you mistreat others and you don't feed the poor and you don't take care of them, you will be like it says. And those shall go away into everlasting punishment. Everlasting punishment because you did not walk the walk of Yeshua and do as he tells us to do. Let's go to Luke 12. Let me see. Oh, 37. Well, no, I'm going to up here to 35. Let your loins be girded about and your light burning. Why? Because we are the children of light, the children of day. And ye yourself like unto men that wait for their Lord. And when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are these servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, 
shall find watching. See, children of light, of day, are not ignorant. We are preparing ourselves right now, any minute, any time that he comes, we will be ready. We will be watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to set down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, or find them so, blessed are these servants. So it doesn't matter when he comes. It matters whether you're watching. Where you are a child of light and the child of day. Back over here to Second Peter. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought we be in all holy conversation and godliness? So we're going to see. See, God is a consuming fire. And He is so holy that when He comes down, everything will be dissolved, will be melted away with a fervent heat. And every work on this earth will be burnt up. So, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought we be in all holy conversation and godliness? Let's go over here to First Peter. And it says, Wherefore, guard up your loins, your mind, be sober and hope, to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you as the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, children of light, children of the day. Not fla flashly finishing yourselves according to the former lust in your imagination. But as he hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Every word you speak is supposed to be holy. Not condemning, not judging, and not cursing. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if you call on the Father, who hath without respect a person judgeth according to every man's works, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruption, both things as silver and gold from your vain conversation receiving by traditions from your father so traditions are not of God but with the precious blood but with the precious blood not tradition but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God, seeing ye have purified your souls in obedience to the truth through the Spirit unto un favorable uh, unforgettable love of the brethren see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruption by the word of god which liveth and abideth forever for all flesh is grass all the glory of man as the flower of grass and the grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away but the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. So, I'm going to end this first video right here, because if I keep going, it'll be too long. But I want you to understand, this is a warning from God himself that his judgment is now upon the earth right now this minute we see it happening because of what Obama did 
and is doing and is planning on doing and asking for that it's okay to abort the innocent it's okay for man to marry man woman to marry woman going against the ordinance of God and even letting his uh, his own ambassador be killed and more than likely offered up as a sacrifice which is unholy and unacceptable of God. And then we wonder why these judgments are coming. They're not only coming on America, they're coming on the Middle East too. They're over there killing each other. Syria is killing each other. Others are killing each other. The judgment is now upon this earth. Wake up. Wake up and see where you are and render your heart to Him, the one that delivers us. For you are called to be children of light and of day and not of darkness. And if you are children of light, you will receive righteousness and eternal life in that time of His judgment, His final judgment, when fire shall come down and consume all the evil in this world is coming it's coming friends it's coming it is time to repent now you can't keep waiting around thinking oh well he's not come yet oh I've heard this oh yeah we have to be on guard at all times and ready for his appearance because if we're not we will be caught unaware and he will come as a thief in the night for us for the ones that are in darkness he will come suddenly upon them but with us we know he is coming we're not of the darkness we know he's coming we know all of these things are his judgment pre-warning pre-telling us be ye prepared for I am coming back to judge to judge between the unholy and the righteous father in the name of Yeshua I plead the blood over this video let minds be opened up to you and you only and Lord I ask your protection on those people up there that's going through the rest of this storm Father, in thy holy name, bless your children because you said that you reign on the just and the unjust. And, but, Father, you promised protection for your children. Even if they lose their life, you have them in your hand and you take them to your bosom. I know this without a doubt. Whether in life or death, you protect your children of light but I grieve for those that do not know thee and that are going down into eternal darkness father help your children in these days of stress in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach